Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Trin. I am Byron and we are in Nargath Keep, the home of Lord Soth, and we are about to enter the second floor of the keep. The room at the top of the stairs is foggy and dark. A large group of guards and checkered prisoners are startled by your arrival if you guards detach from the group and attack. So what do we have here? Oh, again. I don't kid around with you. I cast a firewall. Let's see. Um, one, two, three. Here. Sorry, Randy Spears. No, you're not gonna get hit. Um, you should probably use the Maze of Disruption against the Undead. One for you. And one for you. Goodbye. 2076 experience points. As you finish the battle, the rest of the guards and their prisoners retreat westward. So we encamp and save. And follow them. The guards shove their prisoners southward around the corner. You hear a massive portcullis clang shut. A huge portcullis blocks the wall, the hall. It is impervious to all of your efforts. How come I can't see it then? Let's go in here. A group of vampires are watching something out the northwestern window. What do you do? We attack them. And yeah, a few vampires. Nothing too fancy. Boom. Boom. You're not dead yet. Oh, really? Fine. Cast. A fireball. Oh, reckless charm. That sucks. Okay, you cast a fireball. And you will hurt her too, because I want her to lose her spell. One, two, three. Here. Um, you cast a magic missile on him. Good night. Can you do something? No, actually not. You delay. You cast... Uh, dispel magic. Don't you have it? Yeah. You also cast a dispel magic just in case the other one doesn't work. On Rackle. It worked. Continue battle? No. Thank you. That was no fun at all. We fix. And save. And move on. At least nobody got level drained. 2.3 million experience points. 2.3, uh, 2.3, 2.25, 2.3, 1.1. 1 .1. Everything is dandy. Moving on. This room is empty, empty except for a large lever mounted in the center of the floor. Where? You stand before a large wooden lever mounted on the floor. It's apparently of, of made of the same material as the portcullis, maybe glass or something, because I can't see it. Pull the lever, yes. You hear a distant grinding as of a portcullis raising nearby. Okay. Well, the distant grinding of a portcullis that happens to be nearby. Hmm, don't question it. So we can go down now. You pass through the open portcullis. No shit. What do we have here? A group of guards drag their captives southward. 
Other guards shove their prisoners aside and attack. You do that. So, ooh, they have a death knight. That's no fun. Knight, you cast a fireball. Good riddance. Manual one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, give me a fireball. Ow. Oh. Well, it's not that bad. Twenty nine. We can take that. Oh, fifty nine. That's rather sucky, though. Oh, you missed. You don't really need to do anything. Except move away. You have your nice dragon lance. And it kills death knights too. Who would have thought? Um, what do we get? Mm-hmm. You take the dots. Thank you. And the rest probably is not so important, right? Yeah, probably. No, I don't want it. You uncheck the prisoners and learn that they're clerics from the High Clerics Tower. We seek the stolen body of Storm, Bar Storm Brightblade, they say. We know he is close by. Please help us recover him. Oh, you are doing a good job. I gotta give you that. Oh. A band of marauding vampires strike your party. Okay. Well, it's only one vampire and two wraiths, actually. And another fireball. I'm sorry. No, forget it. You delay. One, two, three, here. No, thanks. Let's take a look at the area. Where are we? Okay, we are in here. Okay, we move on. Because um, the remains of a former prisoner lie in this cell. The guards would never look for you here. This might be a safe place for rest. Exactly. We encamp, we fix, and rest to get our spells back. Oh, see, the moons are full, actually. Let's see whether... Anybody gets a bonus spell? Nope. Apparently we already have them memorized. That's good. Moving on um, into northern direction. What's in here? The flash golems are posted here with instructions to, tr instructions to destroy anything that enters. You see a wooden level on the far wall. Uh, pff, flash golems, really? I'm not um, that oppressed. Flesh golems probably are not undead. And I don't really know whether they count as large animal uh, enemies because they are actually not bigger than regular characters. So, hmm. What did you equip now? Why didn't you use the longsword plus four? Much better. Good night. You have to wait your turn, my friend. It's just a small passageway. You have 13, you have 6. You're dead. See? Now you can do something. 14, good night.
Wait your turn. Be patient. See? Now there's space. And Turfy is missing out on all the fun. Well, but, you know, maybe he has fun with Leonor. I mean, she lost her husband. Although Turfy is a little old. But maybe, well, he's rich and she can inherit something. And yeah, she lost her husband. So I, I think it's fitting. It's cool. Have fun, Durfee. We can hold the fort on our own. And he was looking for peace and stuff, so yeah. Maybe it's not the worst of solutions. Uh, yeah. We move on. A large wooden lever is mounted on the wall here. Pull the lever. Yep. You hear another portcullis raising nearby. I actually never found the portcullis, but hell. I don't care. So, we go down again. You pass through the open portcullis. Oh, okay, I get it. Um, um, so maybe we should... Another deceased prisoner lies in the cell. We encamp and fix and save. If that is the only safe place, we'll probably have to return to that area. What's down here? You see a torture chamber. Knives, whips and other objects of torment line the walls. A few dead townspeople are piled in the corner. Oh, you will pay for that, Soth. There's a reckoning on its way. A large group of guards are stationed in front of the next row of cells. A battle begins. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. This calls for the Maze of Disruption. You cast a fireball. I hate you. But that spell was relatively harmless. One, two, three, boom. Flash Golem is slowed. Vampire Mage is dead. Good night. If this, no, the Spectre isn't dead yet. Um, exit? Why don't you have your thingies equipped? Probably because you were... No, were you? No, you were not charmed. Rekordorian was charmed. Oh, yeah. We have 97 darts plus 3. Ah, you probably found new darts, and those darts were not darts plus 3, but regular darts. Oh, great. Well then, boom! Well, the maze of disruption against golems. Hmm. Not the best idea. Oh, you missed. It's better. And you're dead. No, thank you. 3,343 experience points. That's rather nice. Um, okay, moving on. Oh, more cells or what? The bloody and broken form of Sebas Asthmore lies on the floor of this cell. He raises his head weakly and his voice is hardly more than a whisper. This is recorded as journal entry 54. Oh damn it. 
Are we too late? Can we still heal him? Sebas last word. Sebas last words actually. So we apparently can't heal him. My friends, do you have the rod of omniscience? You show it to him and he lowers his head in relief. Then my suffering hasn't been in vain. Listen closely, I must tell you. He breaks off as pain washes over him. His mutilated fingers clench and unclench as he collects himself. Long ago, when I worked for Lord Soth, he sent me to recover the rod of omniscience. After searching faithfully for many years, I finally found it. When I touched the rod and felt its power, I knew I must protect it from Soth at all costs. I hoped to find a strong and honest group of adventurers who could be trusted with the rod. A group like yourselves. His voice grows fainter. I would have escaped if Kitiara hadn't caught me. That woman is power hungry and wants the rod for her own purposes. She is cunning and will do anything to get what she wants. Beware of her. His speech has drained the rest of Sebas' strength. His eyes cloud over and he dies peacefully. And like Zivia saying to Kobe, I couldn't whip out a heel. And all the deceased prisoner lies in this cell. So we fix and rest to get our spells back. Oh, that's all. That's not too fancy. Moving on. So where do we go now? Let's go north first. A band of marauding vampires strike at your party. Why do you always do that? Nobody likes you when you do that. And I don't kid around here, I just fireball you. You could try to turn them down. Nah, it will not work. Yeah, try it. Oh, the wraith is turned. Nice. Manual. Yeah, sucks to be you. Boom. Better a little damage than a level drain. Let's take a look at the area. Okay, we are here. A group of prisoners are being held here by brutal guards. Behind them, priests chant a complicated spell. What do you do? We attack! You rush forward, but before you can interfere, the evocation is finished. Prisoners scream in agony as in agony as all but a few are transformed into rats. Their captors laugh and attack. You will pay for that. Hmm. You cast the delayed blast fireball right fucking now. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Boom. Okay. What else do we have? Um, they're almost dead. You cast a fireball. No, it won't. Two, three. Rather do it here. I'd rather take out the. Uh, vampire as well. Thanks. Oh, he's not dead yet. But now you are dead. And so are you. 7,224 experience points. And we get treasure. We don't really need it. We leave. No, keep it. A few, the few, the few prisoners now transformed cluster around you. You son of a bee! You will pay for that. They rejoice. Oh no! 
the few transformers not tra hello the few prisoners not transformed cluster around you they rejoice at the news that cerberus has been saved they beg you to now find a counter spell to restore their transformed friends okay get it i get it i get it we go in here this room is dominated by a huge magical tome it is Displayed open and an incantation has been circled. Read the incantation? Yep. Magic builds in the air as you read the incantation. The reds in the room writhe when writhe, then transform into humans. You reverse the spell, they cry. Um, through the half of the castle, apparently. Thank you. They rush for the nearest exit. And we gain more experience. And that's it. Okay. Um, that worked nicely. Uh, this this is a cleric's empty bedroom. Nothing in here. Um, so we should probably move up here again. What do we have here? Look, nothing apparently. Okay. And let's go in here. It looks as though something is concealed under a pile of linen in the corner. Will you look closer? Of course. You find a cache of magical items. Yes. And 1466 experience points. What do we get? A plate mail. A w oh, and a potion, a necklace and apparently a red mage scroll and a wand. Awesome! We want that. So let's return. And go in here. Another deceased prisoner lies in the cell. We encamp and rest. Moving on into southern direction I think. Let's take a look at the area. Mm, yep, I, s I think we're still on track. Storm's body is displayed on the altar in this temple, surrounded by chanting priests. Your presence interrupts their spell and their leader turns to you. Fools, you are no match for the forces here. Soon the body of Storm Brightblade will fight for us and now your bodies will join our armies as well. Oh, you're welcome to try. Oh, fuck. Well, that's a lot of people. Let's not kid around here and use the <coughs> delayed blast fireball. One, of disruption well you're almost dead but you're not that dangerous right now you're more dangerous good night you also cast the delayed blast fireball because why not um, one, two, three, four. But you're not casting. Them. Hey, you're using my darts. You must be out of your mind. Oh, how how can you miss? How can you miss a mage? What kind of armor class does he have? Six. Ooh, 11,051 experience points now. That's a lot. And we found treasure. Probably more darts. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Exit, exit, I don't want it. You can keep it. 
You remove Storm's body from the altar and return it to the waiting clerics. They carefully wrap the body in a white shroud. One cleric turns to you. You have achieved a great deed today. Storm Brightplate was one of our greatest heroes. He has become a symbol of the oath and measure. To think that his body was almost twisted to evil purposes was horrifying. You are heroes beyond measure. Well, that's one thing. If they, if the evil guys can just take the heroes, the, the dead bodies of your heroes, and turn them into uh, evil monsters, maybe you should like give them, um, you know, incinerate them, put, bring them to a crematorium. Maybe that would be a proper way then to deal with the dead bodies of your heroes. Seems like you're taking an awful risk here. They bear the way, beginning the long journey back to the High Clarist's Tower. And we get more experience, yay. That's nice, so, um... Do we get anything here? Apparently not. So we move on here. And there's a little door. The stench of vinegar pervades this room despite the open window to the south. Varts of vinegar line the walls and are piled in the corners. I don't see a window. A pack of werewolves raise its tusks and charge. Oh really? Werewolves. Kidding me. Apparently, Randy Spears now attacks twice every round. That's awesome. Good night. No, he doesn't attack every twice every round. It's still only uh, every other round. 279 experience points. So there's nothing here. Okay, except if you wear balls on a, f a window that we can't really see. A dark staircase spirits upward from here. Climb the stairs? No, I say we do that in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.